In less than a year, George Zimmerman went from slamming the Stanford Police Department to singing its praises. This apparent shift is raising some new questions about the Trayvon Martin case. Listen to what Zimmerman said at a Stanford City Hall meeting in January of 2011, about a year before the shooting. I also have had the opportunity uh, to take ride-alongs with the city of Sanford Police Department, and uh, what I saw was disgusting. Uh, the officer showed me his favorite hiding spots for taking naps, um, explained to me that he doesn't carry a long gun in his vehicle because, in his words, anything that requires a long gun requires a lot of paperwork, and you're going to find me as far away from it. Uh, he took two lunch breaks and attended a going-away party for one of his fellow officers. Wow. Well, a Sanford police rep says that the department doesn't have specific info about when or even if Zimmerman did the ride-alongs. But Zimmerman worked with the department to set up his neighborhood watch. Eight months after a scathing review, he sent this email to the police chief. I have high hopes for and restored faith in your administration and the Sanford Police Department in its entirety. Now that was six months before Zimmerman shot Trayvon Martin, which takes us to this new surveillance video shows Zimmerman strolling around the police station unescorted just three days after the shooting. It was obtained by the Miami Herald. Now, Stanford police have faced some criticism for not arresting Zimmerman sooner. They said that there just wasn't enough evidence. Zimmerman says that he shot Martin in self-defense.